Hi all, I'm Ryan. Welcome back to my garage. Um, you join me on a cold, late midweek evening, but I've had a delivery and I'm going to try and connect up the carburetors. Although possibly not the way Honda intended. So the carburetors, they clearly go into position in here and the rubbers that attach and go between the carb and the inlet um, mine are knackered, they're, they're like concrete, there's no flex in them and they're broken so I need replacement rubbers but when I was looking online the rubbers that go in here seem to be about £50 for the set and I may well still buy those in the future but I want to know if it's going to run and I think that's overkill for the purpose of my testing now I've got these bits here that bolt onto the head and I think that the rubbers are integrated with these so I've got the important bit that I need what I don't have is something to go on the car breaster itself so what I've done is I've just measured the size of the opening here and I've got 40.6 mil so just 40 mil basically and then I measured the opening on the carbs themselves and I found they 38 39.8 so they're basically 40 mil as well so I only need a straight pipe to connect those two together therefore I went shopping online and I found this radiator pipe with an internal diameter of well it says 41 but it said 40 when I bought it I'm sure you can stretch it around so I think I can cut this and place it over both ends and create a reasonably good but temporary <coughs> connection for the carburetors. That's my plan anyway. Oh dear, I do make it difficult for myself. So um, knowing that I needed some good Jubilee clips to hold this cut down pipe in place, I went to uh, race bike bits ordered myself some good high quality um, stainless steel jubilee clips and I made sure that I ordered them from 30 to 45 mil because that connector is 40 however I failed to completely take into account the thickness of the wall of the pipe so my jubilee clip is not big enough I'm gonna need a bigger size so um okay more shopping required Well that was impressive, so um, I went online, I ordered the next size up, uh, again from Race Bike Bits, and uh, 24 hour delivery, and uh, I've got them, the next size up, from 32 to 50 mil, and they look good. So hopefully one of these, eh, yeah I think that's going to work, I think that can be used to hold this in place. So the first thing I'm going to do, measure the right length, cut it flush, make sure it's clean, and um, offer it up. Okay, cut the second one, and get the Jubilee clip level. cutting guard. So I'm not sure what's best to cut it with. I'm going to try a little um, tenon saw. See what that does the job.
So there's my uh, temporary test rubbers in place on the carbs. Try and get them uh, positioned on the bike now. So that's the carbs with the attached manifolds in place and um, they're loose enough to rotate so I can orientate them but you can see they're a nice snug fit on the inside and um, they're going to be held firmly so um, they're a temporary fix but I think they're alright. Try and wrestle them back into place now. Oh, that's taken me a whole evening, but that carburetor is mounted. So uh, pleased with that. So uh, I'm going to move on to connecting up throttle cables, fuel, and then we'll try and uh, see if she'll fire up. Okay, so with the carb mounted, I need to get something onto this throttle cable. Because for reasons that make no sense to me at all, someone just cut the throttle cable instead of just unhooking it from the bottom of the carbs. So I've now got just an end, in fact they probably cut it off and then, I don't know, it's in the outside here. So I'm, anyway, I'm going to try and cut this sheath back a bit, see if I can find any cable. If I can, I'm going to cobble something together, just for test firing purposes. Um, I could potentially just pull it with my fingers, but it seems quite stiff. Anyway, let me see if I can just bodge something for now. Morning, incoming bodge. I'm using an electrical connector on the end of this, see if I can't attach it to the bit of wire that's still left on the back of the carburetor here, and uh, just get something which, whilst the bike's stationary at least, I can operate the, uh, the throttle. So we've got the uh, not so traditional method of cable tying a short cable extended via an electrical connection into the carb. But if I operate the throttle, it's working. And that is, that will do for the purposes of seeing if the engine runs. And I just realised I had all the components necessary to recollect the clutch. So um, here we go. We have an operating clutch, which um, God knows if it'll work, but it looks right, it feels right. Okay, that's enough for tonight. Okay, let's try and get some fuel into the carbs. Use an old fuel line. I'm gonna put it in a fuel tank. So it's full, put my thumb over it. Pick it up, put it on the carb. Right, let myself out. So that should be put in a little bit of fuel in the carbs each time. Not ideal, but I don't want to connect up the fuel tank just yet. So the float bowls are now full, and so is this fuel pipe. So I can't blow anymore. If I try and I blow now, the valves are shut. So I'm sure she's full of fuel. Let's uh, try and give it some spark. 
and uh, connect it to a battery, see what happens. Okay, so I've got a jump start off the car, I've got fuel, filling up the float chambers, float bulbs, and fueling this line. I've got access to the choke here, manually. I've got a cobbled together throttle cable. Got no exhaust. Um, this is what happens. Oil pressure light is on. Partial choke. Touch the button. Oh, clutch. Ah, that's going to complicate it. Put something in there. Hold the clutch up. Right, oh, because I'm running out of hands, put that in there. That will hold the clutch lever open. What's that? Choke. Throttle. And let's try. <laughs> sound. So let's operate the choke fully. Fully. Yeah, 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 yeah
Spark is good, the compression feels good. Let's have a bit more fuel now. doesn't need an exhaust system like a full system but does the pipes create additional vacuum in some way because it feels like it wants to go but something's holding it back not even offered up these exhaust systems before but let's um let's see if i can see if it helps Well guys, that was um, rather frustrating. It would pop, it would bang, a few backfires, would not run. A um, few concerns of mine. I don't know the state of the carburetors. From what I was told, I, ex I believe they should be okay, but that might have been highly optimistic. So I think strip down the carbs is an obvious choice. Check the valve clearances because I did another compression test and it seemed lower than I was experiencing a couple of weeks ago. So I'm going to just check I haven't done anything stupid there. And the, um, the timing, I mean it's electronic ignition, to the best of my knowledge it should be alright, I don't think there's any adjustment to make, but I'm just going to research, read up, see if I'm missing anything. So um, please do like, subscribe, give me any uh, suggestions, comments, because uh, some of your previous comments and suggestions have been fantastic, you really helped me. Um, but for now, that's me, signing off, disappointed. Cheers, thanks very much.